How does some plant-based, just straight up vegan burger sound? Out of Beats, I got this from a website, credit where credit is due if you want to check it out. It doesn't taste like chicken.com. So go search that out. They got a lot of really good recipes there. But this one looked really promising and I haven't come across a vegan burger recipe that was really very good to be honest with you. And this will be my first time making it and trying it in front of you guys. And in the video that I saw, even the texture looked like regular ground beef. And it had the same coloring and and I've never tried one out of, out of beetroot before, usually out of black beans and walnuts and things like that. So let's try this out. The first ingredient is going to be raw beets, two cups worth, grated. You can grate it by hand. You can get a food processor that does it for you. I'm going to use my Vitamix. So I'm just going to quarter this up, throw it in there. I'm going to use the pulsing function so that it re it, some of the texture remains so that it looks like ground beef by the time I'm done and I throw all the other ingredients in. So yeah, let's get, oh, by the way, if you like these necklaces, that comes from my friend Sarah. And my friend Linda bought me this one. That was very nice of her. And I bought several more from Sarah. If you want the link to her website, let me know. These come from the ocean. These are really from the earth. They're beautiful. Okay, so let's go. See how bloody the knife is? It looks like I just murdered somebody. So if you're going to be grating these by hand manually, make sure that you put on some gloves. Otherwise, these will stain your hands. See, look at how rich that color is. And uh, also the website that I got this from. They recommend you peel the beets first, but I'm not really big on peeling food. Not like this when there's nutrients in them, and I like to keep the nutrients because it's medicinal and the taste first and foremost. So I can't imagine that's going to mess up the consistency or anything, but I guess we're going to find out. So let's throw this in the Vitamix, pulsate, and get that uh, texture down right. This is what we have so far with just two cups worth of beets. That's about two medium beets worth before we add all of the other ingredients. All right, next is gonna be just half of one yellow onion. I already got it peeled and cut into a half anyway. And she recommends that you chop this pretty finely, but I'm actually gonna put this back in my Vitamix, so I'm just gonna cut it loosely, semi-loosely. And that's going to be pulsated in my Vitamix again with all the other ingredients too. So this goes in this bowl, like so. Here's the bowl of the stuff. And three, well, the recipe calls for two garlic cloves. I'm using three, so I guess I am making this my own, aren't I? Garlic presses are pretty nice. You just can squeeze, watch what happens. There you go. It all comes out. That's pretty easy. Less time than finely chopping garlic cloves, right? Okay, well, next, move this over here. All kinds of goodies. Okay, this is a mixture of two teaspoons, actually the recipe calls for one teaspoon of thyme leaves. Here's what I use. Thyme leaves. Pepper. So I used one full teaspoon of pepper. A uh, half a teaspoon of salt. I don't like to put salt in things, but ginger powder makes a great substitute. So I doubled up on the ginger powder instead of half a teaspoon. I did one full teaspoon of ginger powder. And that's all in this mix right here. All right, half of a cup of all-purpose flour. I got a really good one by Bob Red Mills, all organic. Next is just half a cup of cooked lentils. I bought canned for this one by Organic 360, organic lentils. That way you don't have to wait a half hour to cook up some lentils. Three quarters of a cup of big, flat, rolled, old-fashioned oats. A tablespoon of natural peanut butter. I've never heard of that going in a burger mix before, but this one calls for it. There we go. Sanitary. Mm. The peanut butter is going to help it stick together. So it's a binding agent and also is a really nice flavor, I hear. 
and the thyme leaves, by the way, she recommended using this because it is a great complementary seasoning and flavoring for the other ingredients that are in there. And when you smell it and you smell the other ingredients, you kind of have to believe her. So we will taste it soon enough when this is all done. So now all of the ingredients are in here. Just going to stir it up a little bit in here, and then I'm going to pulsate it just for a little bit in my Vitamix. And again, I'm pulsating it versus just, you know, going all out with it because I want to keep the consistency, some texture to get it to match, you know, ground beef. And I think I got that stirred in there enough. I'm really interested in this peanut butter that's in there and what that's going to taste like. It's time to form the patties. She made a crystal clear point about wetting the hands before you do it, otherwise they stick really badly. So I'm not going to worry about getting this on camera. I think you all know how to wet your hands. All right, my hands are plenty wet. So let's go over here. This is supposed to make about four burger patties. And I've never done this before, so let's see how it turns out. It even feels like ground beef, from what I remember. I haven't worked with ground beef in a really long time. But yeah, this is pretty cool. It's sticking together really well. In past experiences when I've tried plant-based burgers, they fall apart, the texture and the consistency is not there at all. But look at that. That is, wow, I'm pretty happy with this so far. And it's not sticking to my hands bad at all, so. I haven't tried doing this without wetting my hands, so I don't really have a comparison basis. I have to take her word for it. Or maybe next time I do this, I'll find out myself, just out of curiosity. You could easily get five or six out of this with the quantities that we've used, so I guess it just depends on how big you want your burgers to be, really. I'm gonna stick with four. I think that's a good number. Wow, look at that. That's pretty awesome. Now, if I didn't tell you that these were not meat, would you know from looking at that? I don't know. And now we fry up these patties. You can also put them in the oven. The teacher made a point to let us know that we want to do this on a low heat. It takes about three to five minutes per side. Cook it slowly. I've got some, uh, you can use uh, coconut oil or grapeseed oil or avocado oil because they have high flash points. Do not use, do not use olive oil. That turns into a toxic carcinogen when you heat it up. Olive oil is only healthy when it's raw, okay? It even sizzles just like a hamburger. So far, so good. Staying together pretty nicely. So I just flipped these and for some reason I didn't think to get it on camera. So I'll flip it again. And it's like, oh my god, look at that. They don't fall apart or anything. They just... It's pretty incredible. All right, these are done now. Turn the heat source off, but just to show you how these actually hold up, like I'm flipping these with no problem whatsoever. At least five minutes, low heat on each side. You can press them and just like normal burgers. And you can darken them, you can saute them to get them a, you know, a nice finish at the end if you want. I'm going to keep mine like this. So I'm using sprouted bread. You can use whatever kind of bread you want, but if you want to keep it medicinal, I recommend something sprouted or something sourdough. Blood sugar friendly, gut healthy, medicinal. 
On this one, since there's peanut butter in one of the ingredients, I'm just going to use a smear of peanut butter. You know, you can put avocado on it, mustard, ketchup, um, lettuce, whatever you want to, to top your burger with. And uh, I'm going to try mine for you right now for the first time ever. So far, everything was perfect, but this is, I guess this is going to be the ultimate part right here is at the end. When I try it, here it goes. Smells amazing. It's like foreplay. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, it's really good. I taste every ingredient. And she was right in this video. It tastes like chicken, or it doesn't taste like chicken.com. Uh, the, the thyme leaves um, goes together really well with everything else. The peanut butter is really good in there. Everything is really good. Whoops. Mmm. I will probably add even more garlic next time, and more ginger powder, and more black pepper. I might even try some uh, crushed red chili powders, and also some cayenne pepper. It'll be good on it too. And there you go. You're going to pay the farmers or the hospitals. Pay the farmers. Get some good food. And my website, TomBirkenmeyer.com, just like it's spelled here on social media, TomBirkenmeyer.com. I've got tons more plant-based medicinal recipes that taste really good. So go check it out. I got a ton of other content there too, and I will see you later. If you feel free to share this with other people who might enjoy this, spread the health. Bye for now.